Christmas. Where are we today? We're at Spirit of Christmas. We're at Olympia. It's like the first taste of Christmas. It is. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah. Pick of the bunch. I love their shirts. That is the real deal. Oh, that truffle cheddar. How does it taste? Fucking oh, no. And these blankets as well. That's a brand that's on the right side of history. Correct. Hello. Just when you thought we couldn't get any better, conductor and cook, <laughs> guys. Well, you used her maid though. That's George's birthday. Is it George's birthday today? Uh, yesterday. Double cake. It's yeah. definitely going to be better than mine. Yours look pretty good. I know for a fact that Georgie loves carrot cake. Does she? Uh, what flavour is this yeah. carrot cake? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Holly, what's just happened? I made a carrot cake and Georgie's birthday cake has just arrived and guess what flavour it is? Is it a carrot cake? It's a carrot cake. But it's fine. It just means we've got more to share around. Good morning, Laura Black. How are you? Good morning, Rich. I'm well, thanks. How are you? I'm okay. What are we doing today? So we've got Lisa Potter Dixon coming in. going to teach us how to do party hair with a GA. GHD curve. This is the GHD curve with some snazzy hair clips and a lot of very nice GHD product and brushes. How's the shoot gonna run? Lisa is gonna talk into the camera and saw her hair herself. Pretty simple. Yeah, teach everybody how to do it at home. Right, okay. How are you? Are you okay? Hello. Are you a GHD fan? I can't say I use, but I know they do epic things. Lisa is the master. And I think Lisa's hair, so I'm like, okay, cool. I think I've bought three things in the last week just because of Lisa. Mil something primer. Hada Labo Super Hydrate. She loves Hada Labo. She does. She's got such a Amazing energy, yeah. such incredible yeah. knowledge. If she tells me I need to straighten my hair, I'll be straight. How are you, Eloise? I'm good, how are you? Very well. What's going on? Happy pre birthday. One day to go. Yeah. What would be your dream day at SF? What would it be? Loads would it be drama like, to yeah, loads of drama, plane crash. No, oh, not really. That. No, no, that was a bit too far. I watched Sully on the weekend. Is it good? No, I can't, I can't watch it. I hate planes. He's a pilot, but he's not flying the plane. No, no, he is. He's, he is. A, he's a pilot, but he's like a legend because he managed to land the plane on water. On the Hudson. 155 oh. passengers, and it's like never ever happened before. I've been on a plane where the engine cuts out. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. But you have to keep going. What happened? A tiny little propeller plane, oh six God. seats, oh and it cut out. Shit really the bed. Has your phobia come from that? No, I've always been scared. But I'm so in tune with the noise of planes <laughs> and it just suddenly went quiet. Oh my God. With all my family, my mum was in front of me, two girls next to me. My mum, hard as nails in times like that, sat there and carried on reading her book. Did then you feel he, the plane no, slightly glided, and then the pilot just went mad, pumping things into the. the he hadn't switched the fuel gauge. We basically stalled in the air. Oh, Absolutely wow. terrifying. Oh, hello. Hi. How are you doing? Good, thanks. What are we doing? What well, party hairstyle look using GHD? Do and that. everyone always asks me how I do my hair because I don't like it curly, I like it wavy, and it's really easy. And then, look at these babies. Oh, match my nails. Very demure nails again today. Oh, subtle as always. They match the colour of my new book. How was the launch? Yeah, it was amazing. Backtrack Beauty, available exclusively at Liberty. Liberty. It was yeah. so overwhelming. I cried like eight times. But it's my favourite shop in the world. For people who don't know, what yeah. is Backtrack Beauty? Yeah. The no bullshit guides yeah, to beauty. Point. Everything from the disruptors, whether it be hangovers, giving yeah. birth, crying, yeah. simple beauty things you can do to make yourself feel better. It's not necessarily about looking better because actually you're beautiful with or without makeup. Informative but fun. Aren't all the best things in life? Exactly. Right, so what are we doing then? We'll do an intro. And then you'll hold up the box and be like, I've got one of these GHC curves. I'm going to be doing a party hair you. As you guys know, I've been using the GHD curve forever. Well, maybe don't say, as you guys know, yeah. I've been such a fan of GHD for however many years. Yeah. Fine. Talk to the camera. And I'll do close ups with my second camera if you actually doing the movements. You're not a hair bubble. All girls look at their wrists. Surely I must have a hair bubble. I can go home for a hair bubble. Yeah, we're not a hair bubble fan. I'm looking to borrow a hair bubble for Lisa. Hair bubble. Hair bubble? It's, a bubble. it's like a little <laughs> elastic yeah. circle. <gasps> That's one. Can we borrow that? Not this one, sorry. Oh, you get it back. It's right. the only one I have. Thank you very much. You're welcome. The only one I have in the whole house. Otherwise, you'll track uh, it down. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, goodbye. <laughs> I borrowed this from Ali, and she said that you cannot leave with it. If you do, she knows where you live, and she'll come. <laughs> Why? It's a good one. It's like a real fabric-y, lovely one. Hey guys, I'm Lisa and it's my favourite time of year. It is party season. So today I'm going to be showing you how I style my hair during this very fun time. The wand, a brush and you're getting a heat mat and also a glove to protect your hands whilst you're curling. One thing I love about this wand is how quickly it starts. Beeps and it's ready to go. Let's take my hair bands. For me, it's all about getting that really relaxed, cool wave, not a full on ringlet. This next tip is the biggest hair tip I've ever learned. And it is now to sit still, probably make yourself a cocktail. Leave your hair until it is cool. Officially party ready, now I've got my Prosecco. Lift the hair. 
So you just want to make sure you avoid the roots. And that is it. I am ready to party. How did that go? Wonderful. Yeah, very quick and easy. And yeah. my hair looks nice now. What more do you want? Hi. Happy birthday. Hi. Have a lovely day. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. Bye. She's so great, isn't she? She's yeah. an absolute pro. Leave it to her. She gets the job done. Happy days. Happy days. All good. Gonna go edit it and hopefully get something over today. Can I tell you that I watched Rocket Man the weekend? And what did you think? Oh, it's so good! I loved it, Rich. It's good, right? I'm a real Elton fan. I've got tickets for this time next I year. I don't like you at all. I know that. I like you even less if you keep reminding me that you've got tickets. I've got tickets this time next year. That's what I think about that. Don't think too closely at my bird, though. This is the first. I don't think I've ever seen you without that. This is how busy my life is at the moment. I went out to dinner with a girlfriend last week with chip nails. She said, I've known you since you were 11. I don't think I've ever seen you with your nails looking so bad. This is what how you analyse the stress <laughs> levels in my life at the moment. Hello, something exciting. Our shoes are here. Lou sent me a link saying, Essen said, would we like to choose a pair of shoes? Hashtag gift. Yes, please. Choosing the exact exactly same ones. So oh, really? Hello, I'm so excited to share these boots with you. They're handmade in Portugal in solar-powered factory. Thank you so much for the support. It really means a lot. Cute. Three, two, two. one. Ooh, Chelsea Ooh. boots. Oh, they're nice. nice. They're not really wearing a Chelsea boot outfit today. Oh. You are. God, they're, oh, they're so nice. comfortable. Oh, my God. They've got some sort of squidgy padding. What do you think, Pauls? Oh, I really like those. They're quite slim on the ankle. Hard Come by. They're like smart, but super practical and unbelievably comfortable. A city break, we're going shopping for the day. You're on your feet all day and you don't want to wear trainers. I really love them. They're a cool Chelsea boot. I love that. Oh, wow, thank you so much, Essie. Oh wow, you've accrued you've, quite a you've lot. You've been since, away. Yeah. See, people have been sending me stuff the last two weeks. I'm sorry, he's been on holiday. I missed it. Emma Bridgewater sent me some Halloween stuff. First time I've ever done it, I made a pumpkin this you year. You made a pumpkin for Hero? Yeah. Oh, oh that's sweet. That's really, I mean, it's a little bit late, but that's actually really lovely. <laughs> So I couldn't you find the my date. pumpkin carving kit. You think that that's really yeah. shit? You just need a kitchen knife. You need a little saw. Very tricky to carve a pumpkin without a saw. Mm. Hang on, there's more. There's more. Oh, there's more. Oh God, I'm in the way. Out the way. Oh my God. Oh look, these are new. This is a new cleaning brand. Red wine stain remover. Please don't oh. my nails. I can't bear it. Clean home amber and fig. It's a service cleaner. It's like ASAP. Thank you. It's like the ASOP of home cleaning products. Sandalwood, cedarwood, lavender and pine delicate wash. How does it smell? It smells like a cleaning product. Tough on dirt and stains. Gentle on sensitive skin. Oh, shoe cleaning set. Garment spray. Oh my God, is that for moss? I love this stuff. Yeah, it's really cool. Really nice for men's stocking. Attire care. Laura, we put this in the gift guide. Chic cleaning berries. See, they filled a gap in the market, haven't they? Georgina Brasky and I got the same. Ow. Oh, oh, you right? Oh, no. To go, I'm gonna have to cut them all off. But you need implements, you can't just keep using a pen. That's why. Come on, I have to give a shout out to this brand. So I went to the most lovely place in Half Town called Byree Farm Barns in the Cotswolds. So pretty. If you saw them on the site and you're wondering whether to book them, book them. They're amazing. In all the barns, they have 100 acres of this product. If we put in one of our first beauty boxes, it is the nicest. How lovely is the branding? Yeah. Dear Georgie, just a little gift to say thank you so much for the love you've given us on social recently. So you know, I have to tell you, they had full-size products in all the bathroom. Mimi's obsessed with bags at the moment. She basically shoplifted a load of the stuff. <laughs> I had to email the owner of the barns. I was like, I'm really sorry, but my little girl. All right, Fagin. Packed a load of your full-size things you put in your bathroom. It's like apothecary. Herby, botanically, this is their bath oh, oil. I'm smelling the body wash, rose geranium, and sweet orange. Come Christmas time, all I want is a fancy body wash. My love goes out the window. I funny. love Christmas candles. Oh, it smells so nice in here now. Sweet orange, cinnamon, <coughs> clove. Ooh. I'm obsessed. If anyone wants to send me Christmas candles, I, mean, I happily receive them. Can't wait more. Quite Thank you, hundred acres. Lovely. Lovely. This is from Windsor. Really nice. Reasonable. Cashmere. Isn't that lovely? Feel that? Oh my god, that's nice. Windsor, it's London. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, pretty. It's, it's Oh, I'm really Jane and Tash bespoke. What's Jane and Tash bespoke? Just you wait, Rich. Have you see my natty lettering. Yeah. Very impressive. This is how you grow in a pen every day. What do we have? What do we have? The most Instagram leather jacket. There's no such thing as a business that's an overnight success. If you want a case study of a product that can go really viral on Instagram, this is it. it didn't launch that long ago, and it has gone now. Oh, oh. Best thing about it is the shape. Short. It's not your traditional like a leather jacket. It's short. It's cropped. Big oversized silhouette. Low shoulders. That is cool. Cool. Happy days. Oh, they really are lovely. What do you think, Polly? Really, really love that. So amazing. Charlotte's here. She's not just on her two-week honeymoon. She goes, it's cool. I think she'd be it's right. It's quite cool. Love, 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 love. They've really got that so right. Be really nice over that cream Windsor jumper. Yeah. Happy Monday. One more finale. One it's more thing. It's a very happy Monday. Last but not least. What do we have here? Popcorn advent calendar. Whoop, whoop. And what's inside? Oh. Chocolate butter. <laughs> different flavours. What you got? It's quite cool because you get <laughs> like Orange every three different flavours. Speculous. Speculous? What? Oh, white chocolate and strawberry sounds good. Hang on, that can't be 24 
daisy. Do you go around the back? Around the back. Oh, Double sided. What are you going to go for? You got a joke. Are you ready? Did you oh. hear about the popcorn that joined the army? This is a good one. What they made him a colonel. I want to try chocolate orange. Yeah, what have you gone for? Classic caramel. Classic orange chocolate. Oh, that's good. What speck you lose? Oh, cinnamon. Speck you lose. Never heard of it. Cinnamon. Ginger nutmeg. Wow, Ooh, Christmas. Christmas that's what's on your desk. Oh, that's what's on my desk. Lucky me. Fig leaves. I've given you a few presents. I'm so jealous. It's a good day today. It seems that way, yeah. Georgie Corridge Cole, what's on your desk? Welcome to Fig Leaves. This was all quite fortuitous timing because for my birthday, my husband said, What do you want? I want a cashmere dressing gown. Literally, about two hours later, Fig Leaves got in touch. There are some perks to my job. I do work <laughs> really hard. The people watching, I have sacrificed myself to shell out for 12 years. Oh. I love those. And this is what I really, really wanted. I basically saw someone on my road putting her bins out in a cashmere dressing gown the other day, and I was like, Why haven't I got a cashmere dressing gown? I should be wearing a cashmere dressing gown. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh. From that distance, though, how did you know it was cashmere? But I could just yeah. tell. She looked like a cashmere. I could tell. Isn't that nice? Jealous? It is fantastic. Value for money. Jonesy was like, send me a couple of links, and I found a cashmere dressing gown that was £1,200. Of course you did. £1,200. You just got it. Oh my it's so oh god! god. Oh my god. What? And at the bottom. Yeah. Oh. But they're 112 pounds. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's good weight as well as nice. And the dressing gown is 216 pounds. Considerably cheaper than the four figure one I found elsewhere. Oh my god, it's a nice cardi. Isn't that it nice? That is really nice. Yeah, that's lovely. That is what I'm going to be wearing tonight. So cozy. Happy birthday. Thank you, fig leaves. I am over the moon. What's your singing voice like? Really bad. Do you want me to count yeah. people in? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. One, two, three. Yay! Hooray! Ooh. I've got one more year, Rich. To the big 4-0. Still a lifesaver as I know it. Happy birthday. Thank you, thank you, Rich. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. Bright and early. Today. Yeah. Where are we today? We are at Topshop Top flagship store. store. The big one. And what are we going to be doing? A bit of a contract with me. Have a scout around the shop floor. And we're both going to pull together a couple of outfits. This Topshop we're nailing autumn winter right now. So we are going to put together some looks. How's the shoot going to run? We are going to get on the shop floor, in there before anybody else. Have a scout around, pull some good bits together. Have to change your rooms, put our looks together, and then all the reels. Should we get in there? Let's do it. Do it. Might wear my lanyard. You're a big deal. You gotta wear it. They just got bigger changing rooms and bigger rails. Okay, sure. So guys, what are we gonna do now? Have a little scat around the shop floor, put on a little bit of top shot, and then start filming. Right, let's get going. I hope I can find this. So if there's any, you know where they are. They change it around literally every night. Do so you they? come in and you think you know where something is, and then you don't. So there's this like crop tuxedo jacket, which I love. This is our Moran vibes. Yeah. Denim, I love that like double denim with the yellow. Yeah, we've got that in a wash black as well. It's Ooh. quite nice. Navy military coat. Yeah. It's just a nice cream neck. These are the boutique peg trousers. Perfect. Okay. Are those are the things that you saw online. Yeah, but it's always nice when you come in store things maybe yeah. wouldn't have noticed online things that are grouped together what are you wearing right now this really nice chunky oversized black knit with these cool gold buttons and the neckline which i think is cool we are here at top shop flagship store in oxford circus i'm going to have a look around the store we're going to pull out some key items that we think are essential for creating some amazing autumn winter looks for your wardrobe now getting drawn back to that are you gonna i think like an aviator is really classic it's never gonna go out of style you'll keep it forever it's not cheap but it is real shearling just love vinyl yeah so so sexy. Good. Are there any facts like how often a chop chop denim is sold? I think online it's we sell a pair of Jamie jeans every 10 seconds. What do you think about that? That's every 10 insane. Seconds. I've got two pairs of Jamie's. How often is a pair of jeans sold? I'll tell you pairs for an average day. We can obviously work back from there. The average day is probably about 600 pairs. We're open for 10, um, 10 and a half hours. So 60 pairs an hour? Yeah, pretty much. Which one would mean one pair a minute, yeah. And that's just in this store? Just in the store. Yeah. Oh my God. A pair of jeans every minute yeah. in the shop? Yeah, it's great. Thanks for the facts. So now in the denim section. Oh, shoes look great. great. Incredible boots, evening shoes. We've got some beautiful crystal mules. Lou, what have you found? That's really Nice coat, which is on sale. 55 pounds. 55 pounds. Isn't that, cool? that is an absolute steal. It's really nice boot clay. I love it when you wear a white coat and they've got the contrasting buttons like that. I'm glad to know the store's opening in like 15 minutes. 15. We shouldn't chat then. No, ch no chat to scrub. I just think, well, we can go quickly, but I just don't think we'll get that in 15 minutes. You can't really follow both of you. Yeah. Okay. Pulse, what have you found? It's a faux shearling jacket. I feel a bit overwhelmed by choice, you know? Well, you've got 15 minutes, so. It's kind of like supermarket sweet, isn't it? Is that a boot cut? Yeah, it's a boot cut. Let's go with those. That's one outfit. I think maybe we'll do a denim look next. Another faux shearling one. Thank you so much. So I've just done the first drop off of my product because my arms are getting pretty laden. That's some really good pieces. I'm really good with this. Cool, this is from that idol collection. I see these tees as well. How cool is that? It's such a nice party outfit. The editor sell out all the time. Tis the season to be sparkly. Oh, 
They are not light. They are way deep, matey. That's great. Oh, they're so good. That is so cool. <laughs> Store's opening, we're running out of time. So what have you got so far? Blazer, loud, straight, denim jumpsuit, flat shirt with this high crest yoke collar, it's rock and roll tee, knit, vinyls, overshirt, double denim look. I'm really excited to do this and this together. Really beautiful coat. Super chic. How cool is that? High waisted trousers from boutique. And a black leather shirt. Hey Polly. How are you? Can you talk me through what you got? Yeah. Faux shearling, biker style jacket, funnel neck jumper, oh, poking out the top, pair of leather trousers, jumper, herringbone sole coat, editor jeans, big, big fan, got a couple in my collection at home, kind of like the straight, slightly more relaxed, black roll neck, cream leather shirt, safari style, camel jacket, and then a pair of blue jeans. Sorry to um, They just want to get a picture of us in the VIP. Thank you so much. Perfect. So we've gone around the store, picked our product, made our look, now all that's left is to do our try on. But Rich, you can't see us this bit. If you want to see our outfits, you've got to check out the video online. So, bye to you. Bye guys. Bye Rich. Where are you going? <laughs> what was wrong with down there? Hello, sorry. Georgie was on the phone. Sorry. Hey, it's Hi. okay. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon guys. Good afternoon. Hi. Where are we today? We're at Spirit of Christmas. We're at Olympia. It's Laura my favourite place. We've got a bit of history, Laura and I. What's your history? Many a year of coming here. What for? Scouting out brands. Looking at all the amazing exhibitors that are inside there. It's a massive fair with hundreds of exhibitors selling everything from jewellery, cushions, candles, to baby's wear, to, to food, to booze. So much in there. It's like the first taste of Christmas. It is. It when is. you walk in it's like... It is. Smell it, so good. It's like where Christmas starts for me. These kind of events are a really great way for us to discover new brands. And as much as we work with big, well-known brands, Top Shop through to Harvey Nichols, we also want to put smaller, independent brands in front of our readers. And this is a great place to find them. Let's Should go. Go in and see what's let's there. Let's go. We've got to do it in record time. A lot to do today. Well, let's have a time check. Okay. This is going to be the world's quickest spirit of Christmas bucket. It's 12.45. Queen doesn't wear fur anymore, apparently. Good on her. Oh, I think that's a good place. Yeah, so do I. It was announced yesterday, so I'm sure I haven't missed the book. Right. It's 12.45. I think we need to leave here by 2.15. 90 minutes. Do you agree? Yeah, it's Two. no later, please. Oh, oh it's Freddie's Flowers. Freddie's Flowers. My mum does. We love you. We think you're great. We just wrote about them on SL Man. I know, I saw that. Freddie on SL Man. Really? Dog snug. Doesn't the mouse get cold? The mouse is getting a dog snug. Oh, look. For oh, Christmas Day. This toast makes me really broody. I think you're slowly convincing yourself you're going to have a fourth child. I know, I know. Looks sweet, Laura. Look. What age do you go up to? Eight years. That is absolutely so heaven for me. How cool is that? How much are those prints? Six hundred and fifty framed and delivered, or five hundred pounds if you get the unframed. Gorgeous. Thank you. And I love those pink feathers. Pretty shirt. Oh, Pom Lampson. She's got a stall. See, a little bit further down. She sells a lovely silk shirt. Very nice. Very nice. I really like those. Isn't that nice? You know, it feels round up. Brand. What do you think? Oh, we went to Spirit of Christmas and these were our ex favourite brands. Yeah. That's Kate Barnett. Take a little photo to get by. This all looks nice. What day are you on? Three. Three. I can't remember, it's such I a blur. I love these. Those are brand new, those charm hoops. How cute are they? Oh, they're gorgeous. I yeah. love those. They're really nice because they're not like super delicate, so you can actually see the charm. Very nice. We've given ourselves 90 minutes to get around the entire place. Fun. It's, it's a bar. It's the only Bye. Bye. Something called a man tidy over here. A man tidy? What does that do? Just remember there's a hole upstairs as well. Sorry, man tidy, we're off. Can we talk about Laura's necklace? Tell me about it. Sorry. It's quite bling, isn't it? It's quite Versace. Yeah. You're a sucker for a Peter Pan. I well, am, you know me. Good, affordable children's pyjamas, because they're yes. so often sort of 50 so, so, quid. Yeah. Oh, that is good. You take large. All our fabrics yeah. run all the way through the line. You can have a child in pyjamas, daddy in pyjama bottoms in the same fabric. I like that. Are they trousers or shorts? Can I have a pair of those? Oh. Otto really needs some pyjamas. 29.50. 9 to 10, here we go. Thanks very much. Um, I rock sheer lux. Does that mean anything? Oh, wow. Amazing. I really enjoy it. Are you an influencer? Are you an influencer? How do you pronounce your name? Samathe. It's a nice gym bag. It's really nice. Pronounce Samathe. Samathe. I heard it here first. So cute. Is that a unicorn? So Technically cute. a pony. 100% cotton. £25 or two for 40 Pick of the bunch. Myla and Wilbur. What brand was that? De La Pan. How's it going? Really good. Very busy. So do you remember? Really yep. To the wedding present company. Cooing and cooing over these are gorgeous too, aren't they? It's a nice brizzy. Okay. Yeah. Hey, good luck. That's in the top five, I reckon, Sarah Kay. Sarah Kay is man of the match at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm taking my children skiing this year. Are you? First time. That is super fun. It's a unicorn. It's a unicorn. 
It's very Cutter Brooks, isn't it? It's really nice. And look, the box files. Oh, I love. What would you put in there? Stuff. Really nice. nice. Thank you. I need to remember that. Beautiful. These are and these what Serena Preston was. Yeah. Very... She was waxing miracle about the end. Lovely. We're doing a shoot with these when? Next week? A Wonder Welly. Cool, lovely. Look out. We're coming to our cell soon. All about these bad boys. How to style your Wonder Welly. Oh, that's really fun. They're personalising on the spot. Cool. You remember? <laughs> Don't answer that. <laughs> I got it and I love it. Lovely. Connick. Big yeah. shout out for Dundas London. Love their shirts. Jonesy's a big fan. My husband literally loves his shirt. This is what Jonesy has. Scotty dogs. Oh my god, look, that's unicorn. The letters. Mimi's got a merch. They're sweet, aren't they? They really I are. Like all the green. I love this. Oh, yeah. It's made out of plastic bottles. It baffles. Look at that. I mean, the mind boggles, right? So lovely. Oh, I love that. And this is made out of plastic bottles, too. Yeah. I just don't yeah. get it. And what's the price point on one of these? Small one, $169. It's going nice. to obviously last forever. Very nice. And those blankets as well. That's a brand that's on the right side of history. Correct. Cute, very, very cute. Oh, hello! I'm loving it. It's just the best jacket ever. Oh, I'm thrilled. So and everyone that's been coming said, "Oh, we just saw the jacket on Sheila." Boom. Oh, that was Jane and Tash. He made the jacket I'm wearing. We featured it on Sheila last week. She said everyone keeps coming up saying we saw the jacket on Sheila. Yeah, oh my God, go. that's cute. That is great. I'd like that on my size. Oh, Laura. I mean, I love a bit of neon with yeah, beige. Like that's oh. sweet. How cute is that? That's in the top five. Smart. Oh, thing. Flax London. Do they do black? Could you not? Do you need these? That's really nice. so nice. Oh yeah. Oh, that is nice. Eric by Barb. Yeah, I'd say that's in top five too. Those blush pink candles. Amazing. They're £20. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> oh, Martin This was in my edit for... Um, oh, yeah. Sorry, what's your name? Georgie. That's right. You picked out some of my stuff. I yeah. did. Is That's this your business? Yeah, I make it all. Oh, my God. These are the just... The prettiest colour. Heavenly. And you make it all? Yeah. With, oh, you throw it? Yeah, fill the rings and you go like that. All hand thrown. I want it. That's gorgeous. I want it all. Really lovely. lovely. Really nice. It's expensive, though. £58 pounds for a milk jug. But it's an artisan product. Yeah, heaven, it, heaven, it? heaven, heaven. Mm. That's top five, too. Right. I think we made it. Up to the gallery. These are really good sausages. We buy these sometimes. My husband goes racing and he buys them at the races. Oh my god, truffle mayonnaise! You've got to try that. That is the real deal. Oh, this is dressing. Condiments. These are the best. 100% pasta. Yeah, this one too. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Casinos, avocado. Bumble wrap. So instead of things that's much more environmentally friendly. Let me try a bit of brownie. This is the brook. Are these all the same flavour? So that's the plain chocolate. How's it taste? Oh, yeah. It looks rich. What's different about that and a normal brownie? No animal product. No eggs, no milk, no butter. <laughs> what was that? Sticky toffee and ginger pudding. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Try that. Ricardo, you need to get the brook plant based feasting. That is excellent. Pistachio. Oh, that okay. is really good. That's salted caramel. Oh, 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 I mean, come on. That was really good. It's got delicious. That is really good. Sold at Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Wow. She made every one of those by hand. Is that? I love that. Halva. What is that? Sesame based dessert from the Middle East. Oh, can we try a bit? Pistachio. What do you think? It's really interesting taste. And it's vegan and French. Try this one. It's coffee. coffee. It's yeah. Oh, <laughs> she doesn't like coffee. She's gonna like it. You wanna bet you're gonna like it? You like it? I do like that. It tastes like Sweet. a cake from the 80s. It's all classic. It's natural premium sesame seeds. Gluten free, dairy free, and it's vegan friendly. It's vitamin C. What's the catch? No catch. Full of calcium, selenium, magnesium, B12, folic acid. People in my country eat this to boost their immune system. The, the best halva in the world. In fact, I think we've got a convert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Halva. Or halwa. Halwa. Yeah, it's Arabic. Oh, let's try popcorn. Mm. So this is vintage it's organic cheddar, smoked cheddar, smoke cheddar. It's our black truffle. Black truffle? Oh, stop where you are. Black truffle cheddar. How's it taste? Fuck. Oh, no. Do you like truffle? Depends what size you want. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. So good. So for Christmas, I would like some black truffle cheddar from Godminster in my stocking, please. How did that go? I mean, if you're going to do Spirit of Christmas, that's how to do it, right? 90 yeah. minutes, in and out. Boom. What were the highlights? So many. Smock for the children's wear, I love. Neon trim with the ruffle and the muted colours. Just heaven Gorgeous. For me. Barton Croft pottery, we love. Love. Lots of amazing pajamas. There's lots. There's lots. It's brilliant. If you've got some time, there is something for everyone. If you're on a budget, food makes a really good gift. Who's not gonna be happy with an eight-pound Godminster truffle cheddar cheese? Um, I'm hoping I'm gonna find one of those in my stocking. Good morning, Georgine Velasky. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you, Rich? Very well. What's going on today? We're back to the show. And what's happening on the show? It's Olivia's last show. Our favourite tray bake. What's your favourite tray bake? It's a chicken one for today. I'm trying to remember my recipe. I cooked it on Saturday. Has it got trees over it? Cubetti di pancetta. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Good morning, Georgie Cole. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Yeah, new boots. Awesome. They're really cool, aren't they? Very cool. Thanks, Essen. Good show. I'll see you. Oh, yeah. What's going to happen? It's Olivia's last show. We're going to come to the show and give us some flowers. She doesn't know it's a surprise. It's not that big a surprise, is it? But you know. See you later. Oh, laser looks so good. Do you think? Yeah, I love it. Never really liked myself in hounds, too. Oh, boo. I'm a boot. I know I'm wearing many things today. They're quite chunky for me. They look cool. Oh, here she is. Hello. Big day. See you later. 
Bridget. Yeah. How are you? Oh, the Very lips. well. How are you, more importantly? Yeah, well. What's special about today? It's my last show day. It's about a baby. Congratulations. Thanks so much. How long have we got? Two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks? Yeah. I like to cut things fine. I'm not feeling anything today, so I feel like I'll get home all right at least. Are you going to do the hypnobirthing thing again? I've already done it. I've begun. I'm hoping to go natural again. It's so hardcore. I've done it once, and now there's no reason not to. I know I can do it that way. I kind of feel like I have to. We'll see how it goes. You don't get a prize at the end other than a baby. There's no medal. So. If it hurts, just give me the drugs. Yeah, so. it will hurt, but I'll yeah, see how I far I can get. Most thin nuts is your tray, babe. Is in one tray, so technically. With a full chicken? Yeah, whole chicken. Mm. Red of onions, shove some onions up its arse. Bit of butter, keep it moist. Slather on some mustard, onions, garlic, chuck in some carrots, parboiled potatoes. Off you go. I'll be down in an hour and a half. Let's see what's up. It actually is delicious. We're done? Yeah, okay, okay. 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 Let's do it. Five, four, three, two. Hello and welcome to the Sherlock Show. What are we doing now? We are going to sneak onto the end of the show and give Olivia some flowers. Okay, shh, you've got the mic. I haven't got one yet. It's not quite it! Oh. I promise to hijack the show and say... I don't know which camera to look at. Oh, that's Thank you. Yeah, We're going to miss you. Oh, I'm going to miss you. Happy maternity leave. Thank you so much. Oh, nice. Come back soon. I will. Good luck. I'm not too soon because you know, I'll be all like leaking. But yeah, <laughs> I'll let you do your outro now. Well, Georgie will be back on Thursday. <laughs> Everyone's really going to miss you. Our viewers will be very sad. Yeah. You've had a great run. It's been great. I can't believe how we're here already. So Thank you. And listen, it's really, really I'm great for you. Yeah, I, I, I really, really enjoyed them. Me too. It's been Thank fun. You. Yeah. Bye, Olivia. Bye. Goodbye. Well, it's not goodbye. It's not goodbye. Right, I just well. miss people when they go. There's such a good reason though, right? It's exciting. Yeah. Let's go. It's good. Polly, her hair brush. Holes. Good oh, hands, Polly. Good hands. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Oh, is that him? Oh dear. The bonnet starts. Okay. Okay. Too much time. Hi there. Hi. Ready when you are. I am slightly pushed for time as well. Where are we going now? Oh, sorry. This. What have you found? We wrote this amazing, amazing piece. We interviewed this woman about surrogacy. She's got three children. For a surrogate. We interviewed her. Did you ever tell your story? I, actually, I would love to tell my story. I'm not going back to work. I want to basically devote my life to campaigning for surrogacy. They had their first baby via an Indian surrogate. And their twin by an American surrogate. She wrote her story and it made me cry. One of the pieces I'm the most proud of that we've written. IVF is so amazing. It's very rare now that it, it's not successful. Mm. But it isn't always successful. And there are other options. And I would just really urge people to think about surrogacy. It's not all about carrying a child, it's about holding a child. She just posted a picture of her holding her twins. Oh wow. As a process to produce children, it's only going to be more and more mainstream. I've got a great friend whose son's godfather, him and his husband, are about to have their first baby via a surrogate in the States again, but I don't know if you can do it here yet. It's on the site, right? So check it out, read it, read it, and thank you for sharing your story. Where are we going now? We are on our way to meet three of the skincare and health industry's most renowned specialist, nutritionist Rosemary Ferguson, facialist Teresa Tami, aesthetic doctor Wasim Tatouk. Between them they have a very large client list of celebrities, they get well connected as royal, supermodel, you name it, coming into their clinics on a daily basis. And they have joined forces to offer 360 bespoke facial skincare wellness package to Customers. And what are we actually going to be talking about in the podcast? What health looks like as you age, how nutrition impacts your overall health, the aging process, good skin. But what I want to know is whether a good facialist has to use really invasive techniques these days to be effective. I'm not averse to a sip thought needle. I still want to look like me. I want to look like the best version of me. And that's okay. And these three are going to tell us just how to do that. Hi there. Georgie from Sherlock. Hi. Hi. This is just downstairs. Okay. Oh, no. What can you see? Is that a micro needling, is it? Oh! Is it a vibrator? Lymphatic drainage, is it? <laughs> Interesting. Sorry, I'm not trusting you just that, am I? Can't imagine you are no. Rosemary. Hi! Hi! How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Good. No one wants to cough it in. Don't stress it. I would like a lemon and ginger tea or something. They have that. Oh, I'll have a lemon and ginger tea. See, I'm in Maybe. the company of a nutritionist. On best behaviour. Otherwise, I'd have asked for a diet coke. Oh, look. Oh, I'll have a lemon look. and ginger tea. I have got quite into kombucha. I got into this ginger one. 15 calories. Quite nice. Can't quite get my head past the fact that it smells a bit like pickled cabbage. Who is it? Hi. 
Hi, how are you? You are? Very well, thanks. This is Rich. Hey, how are you? Apparently, I'm in charge. Are you? Try and sell us stuff quickly. They'll be really pleased. Sell us all. This is religious Egyptian iconography. It's a rabbit on one side. Is it a rabbit? Oh, wow. I didn't even see that. She knows this. Careful. It's heavier than a child. This is an art gallery. Look, that's cool. That Vormisetti, isn't it? What is that? It's a dog. It's a Labrador with what? It's kind of freaky. What is that? It's a dog with quite a little peachy one. What box? What is that? Table tennis. No, she's got a mirror in her hand. This is probably worth like about 20 grand. Bring it around. I get to see some school art. A little space for that in your new house. Right. I'll take these though. These are nice. It's very serene in here, isn't it? Oh, look, here's more. It must have been the same guy. So we've got a cat with breasts. Beautiful, beautiful painting. That I, that I would happily take. That's good. Yeah. It's almost flowers, isn't it? But it's, it's not. Really, that is my cup of tea. Abstract impressionism, the way to go, I'd say. Oh, it's not too pastel. Have you seen the, art? Have you seen the cryo? I had one of these and I didn't realise when I was first given it. Keep it in the freezer and it's supposed to deep half of your face. Of course, I just said, try this out and I just grabbed it in the freezer went and stuck it to my face. Oh, so you need oh, to put a serum oh. on it first and then rub it in. So, Seema, how are you? I'm really well. We met very briefly. Backstage at Strictly. Backstage Strictly. Yeah. Strictly. Oh. That love that. I love Strictly. Is that a client probably? <laughs> probably live on them. Is it really? Yeah. Is it really? Yes, I need to put my makeup on. She looks that good. Hello, and welcome to today's Sherlock's In Conversation with podcast. Naturopath, could you explain exactly what that is? It's a bit like a GP of holistic medicine, aerodology, homeopathy, herbs, Chinese medicine. I'm renowned for your OS client. I'm not going to say who, but we just saw a really good one walk out the door. That's rich, that's. And he missed it. He's like, what, what? Damn, she looks good. She's got no makeup on. Tiny, tiny, tiny micro needle. She's just beautiful. She's really she is hot. What makes you different? I try to do a lot of combination treatments. Clients don't have to actually choose what they want to do. Look at the skin and do what's best for the skin on that day. I always say results with love. It's a nice facial, but we get results. Uh, I've seen you are um, for your light handed approach. I'm How sure long have you been doing aesthetics for? When did you start? I started about 10 years ago. My background was as a GP. I did some training in dermatology and then worked in A&E for about 10 years while building up the aesthetic side of things. And I set up my own school as well. I teach other doctors and the nurses how to do the treatments as well. When I learned, I learned in a hotel in King's Cross for four hours and I walked out with a certificate saying I could do Botox and things. Oh, yeah. petrifying, And right? I, I find yeah. that outrageous. I mean, obviously things are completely different now. I think over the 10 years I've learned a lot of things along the way and equipped to impart that knowledge. I am quite strict. I watch what I eat. One of the things I do avoid is dairy. Why don't you like it? I can't digest it as well as other things. Inflammatory. You know, people blame hormones sometimes in the diet that triggers the hormones. Acne, psoriasis, different skin conditions, clients take out dairy. You know, you can tell. If you can't digest dairy, you will know. You'll feel bloated, it will feel uncomfortable. Oh, yes. Take it out for two weeks, all of it, and that means the dairy milk. Take it all out and see how you feel it's when you get back. Thank you. Lovely to meet you. You too. Um, how did that go? I think it went really well. What do you think? Fascinating, right? It was great. I kind of want them all. No, they are three oh. real masters. They've got amazing clients. They're so well respected in the industry. The fact that they're getting together is really cool. Hopefully we'll do some more of them. And I think it will be quite an interesting podcast. Good. Anyway, see ya.